Hey guys, it's Google again with another ROM review and this time I have a awesome ROM okay this time it is Nebulosity ROM version 3 final okay it is by what name Shvet okay Shvet okay um, it is an XGA developer it is available from the XGA developers forum and it is a CyanogenMod 9 based ROM okay so that's to start the review okay okay now um, about this ROM it is uh, kind of like a uh, normal CM9 ROM and I lately haven't uh, reviewed any new CM9 ROMs but this one I got to tell you guys this is an awesomely fast ROM okay this is kind of like uh, this smooth fast stable ROM I didn't really hope for Cyanogen mod to get this fast in this table for the galaxy so it's really something so uh, let's get to it here what you just saw is the launcher which is the Trebuchet launcher what this is is the uh, AOSP lock screen it is kind of an AOSP because it is cyanogen mode right so cyanogen mode lock screen you get that here is the uh, jelly bean styled uh, status bar with the date and time here settings and a quick settings which is a science and more perk here is the settings uh, page about page okay here is uh, partition info you have you can have e all these uh, information from there status legal information model number Android 4.0.4 which is the uh, uh, latest which is the only uh, science and more 9 okay it is science and more 9.2 version which is uh, again good now um, about the performance this is a really great ROM which well this is probably the best Cyanogen Mod 9 ROM which I've used okay you can see there Cyanogen Mod 9.2.0 ICS plus Cooper ne Nebulosity ROM v3 final this much memory this is CPU blah 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 okay so I guess that is it uh, about the in the about page that is it so um, what makes this ROM unique okay uh, I wouldn't say go ahead and say that this one is a unique ROM because it's clearly a Cyanogen mod 9.2 well it's a Cyanogen mod ROM it is not as unique as uh, some others like my UI or anything else but it is fast it is stable it has a good battery life I wouldn't say it's outstanding but it has a good battery life it has Viper for Android in build so yeah that kind of makes things good let me crank up, crank down the brightness okay uh, where is the brightness okay display rotation is there if you must know crank down the brightness okay here it is whatever you want to know okay what are the uh, settings available normal size and more settings like launcher lock screen settings you can have uh, all of these weather in the lock screen display weather screen security slider shortcuts okay all of all that stuff uh, themes Sajin mod being themeable it is available there are themes available for size normal system settings which are the uh, best for Sajin all right uh, status bar all of these brightness control right? brightness control here so you have brightness control now these are like the old cyanogen mod tricks which was awesome right uh, with the oncoming of jelly bean and uh, all the sliders available here it kind of went off I guess so um, show notification count yes all of the settings are available show notification bar it requires a reboot it there is a navigation bar available status bar you can have Santa clock uh, everything of such style pretty neat yeah uh, notification drawer again power widgets all of these haptic feedback pretty neat ROM okay this is what I want to tell you about this ROM this is a really fast and stable ROM okay I do mean it I did find it to be really stable okay uh, I had run a few quadrant uh, tests and a Velamo tests and a quadrant score of this ROM was at um, 799 okay so I guess that is uh, well good for this phone 
okay so that's what I got with quadrant and with Velamo metal test I got uh, 119 yes you can see there right okay so I would say that's fairly uh, good for a phone of this stature this isn't a high performing phone anymore this well it was never a high performing phone but it was supposed to be a medium range phone this is not a medium range phone now okay so that's there pretty neat uh, what else does it have uh, let's go to features I already showed you the uh, jelly bean status bar and uh, the it has jelly bean transition effects uh, for various things pretty neat at that okay uh, the phone is pretty neat okay now yeah the launcher I forgot the launcher it is a Nova launcher running so you can have you have all of these okay I don't know what that is supposed to be and that thing is there so yeah it is Nova launcher mod okay it is modern Nova launcher I have to see what that was I don't remember the case okay whatever it is Nova setting so you have a lot of features you have a lot of things to customize about it so that's there now the video recording is a 24 fps modded video recording for the camera so that's something you may want to uh, know it does have uh, all, all whatever you need so camera works well, unlike the old Cyanogen mods Cyanogen mod 9s which in which camera was the main problem I guess that works now um, CM10 boat animation I will show you guys that the color ID is uh, full screen like the whole screen is filled with the photo with the accept or decline circle in the middle so that's there can't show you guys that now okay it does have the smart a ASH smart dash 3 kernel so uh, it really makes for a great uh, performance now uh, it has the host files hacked so that there is no ad there won't, there won't be any ads on the application so you're good to go there well you can uh, actually have an app for that so that doesn't really uh, mean anything MIUI sound recorder that is the APK file is the MIUI sound recorder yeah here it is the MIUI styled uh, sound recorder is pretty neat I guess again this ROM is well I wouldn't say this is the best ROM in the world but this is something which takes it uh, another notch up right like it is Sanjin Mod 9 it is the most stable Sanjin Mod 9 which I've seen well it's my personal opinion so that's that now um, what else about this ROM okay let me show you guys the battery life I did feel the battery was uh, adequate okay I wouldn't I as I said I wouldn't go ahead and say that this is the best battery on any phone okay I did feel it was adequate okay you can see Wi-Fi was on all the time 21 hours okay well my phone wasn't on at every time I did have a charging here the screen wasn't on every time the awake screen on was only a few times but still the Wi-Fi was on all the time and still it has about 80 percent I don't know 50 whatever 70 70 percent of charge still left so um yeah I don't feel it will be uh, hugely taxing on the battery but still hey it is a 1350 mAh battery so you can't ask for more now um, yeah what else yeah I guess that is it I'll show you guys the boot animation and um, get over with it so guys here is the Sanjin Mod 10 styled boot animation which is it isn't much okay they just copy the CM 10 boot animation file to this one it's, it is nothing creative or unique but still hey I gotta show you guys the boot animation right so that's it um I guess that wraps up the ROM okay again this is based on San Gemma 9.2 it is really fast really stable and it has uh, optimum battery life like it's pretty neat the battery life is pretty cool and um, yeah I guess that is it again quadrant score of 799 and Bellama score of 119 I don't think that's pretty lame like it is not lame it's pretty neat so I guess that is it so bye